four three luck from Blake Baker's defense. Nussmeyer to the air and fires a strike. It is caught by Aaron Anderson. Probably more athletic than most would give him credit for, but given his predecessor, you understand the hesitant comparisons. Josh Williams, another nice cut, barrels his way across towards midfield. Empty backfield. Back him up five after a penalty. Time for Nussmeyer. That's a strike to Taylor, and Taylor, the 10 yard gain to the 45. 4 3 look again, and here's Nussmeyer. He'll step up, remember not live, heave one deep, has a man wide open for the touchdown. And a 45-yard scoring strike to the transfer from Mississippi State, Xavion Thomas. Uh oh we got a little celebration here in the end zone. <laughs> Don't know exactly what's going on, but. A little duck, duck, goose. Womack not liking as he chunks the football. Out of the circle. That's a that's a bust in coverage, man. It's a good find by Nussmeyer. Climbs in the pocket, steps into it, but nobody identifies Xavier Thomas as he just runs a vertical go route, unaccosted, unaccounted for. Stepping firmly into the pocket, delivering the touchdown strike. Kai Lane that went in motion, and straight up the gut through the A gap and across the 30. Gain of six yards. So let's keep our eye on number 16 here. Moving up front and penalty markers. It's our program now is much more focused on the finer details. He said to win an SEC championship, you can't be good, you can't be great, you have to be elite. Collins racing ahead. Breeze is picked up and that punt fielded near the 23. What he's able to do is going to be a key piece to see exactly the the ceiling on this offensive line. And for the fake to Williams deep down the field, pass is called. Kyron Lacey made one defender miss, tumbling down inside the 35. Only 30 passes for almost 600 yards a year ago. Hand off to Williams along the left side and stopped at the 31. Inside handoff, bobbing and weaving all the way to the end zone for the LSU touchdown. Caleb Jackson, the sophomore from Baton Rouge. And from 33 yards out, 28, reaching Pater. After hitting the accelerator and getting downhill. All right, the extra point counts as a point. At Vanderbilt, he's the most experienced quarterback on this roster. After Jaden Daniels moves on to the NFL. On the right side and across the 40 goes Malachi Lane, a gain of five. Nick Markway will move around. Saw him get a late touchdown a year ago at tight end. Swan picks up the first down and a good grab by C.J. Daniels. A smart player and already become a leader on the back end of this defense for Blake Baker. Swing pass to the edge and a lot more. A first down. Faking strides early today. It was an issue a year ago, especially when it came to tackling. Quick strike to the 15. Ebon the running back. Swan to the air. Pass is caught right past the line to gain. That should be enough. Officially 24. And on the way, they split the pipes. 17 to 3. All right, just moments ago, how about this touchdown strike? Nussmeyer to Kyron Lacey. Get used to that connection. Two and White off to the races and a big time scoring strike again with the extra point. They've got to get that cleaned up and get it fixed. And in the top 10 for Neighbors and Daniels. Only starter loss in the offensive line at center. Here's Caleb Jackson back on the field. Ahead. Just absolutely stoked about what's coming back in the trenches on offense. There goes Pimpton back on the field, so that's a good sign. They can protect, they can move people off the football. You're going to give yourself a great chance. Allen Jackson got that sack a couple of points for the defense on second and 18. A lot of points for both sides, if you will. Collins with time. Dumps it down. Dip and turn that edge. Put some stress on the offensive tackle. You may be the first defensive player I've worked with, so I'm not used to all of this analysis, sound analysis, I might add, on that side of the ball. Normally it's high maintenance quarterbacks and running backs. Punt of 44 yards. So definitely noteworthy to watch how he performs on a play like this. Taylor shifts, veteran tight end. Here comes pressure through the A gap. It's picked up 
Perkins was bottled up and the pass is incomplete. So the defense notches a touchdown the pass intended for Lacey and a turnover on downs makes it 24 22 with Ashton Stamps in coverage connectivity. Did I remember those correctly. Come on cohesion collaboration communication Roy Phil I was close inside Ooh. handoff during that bowl game and this offense did not miss a beat really impressed Brian Kelly gave him the confidence to go ahead and promote from within Kempton in the boundary outside. 6 6 frame at 250 pounds hard to miss. Collins quickly to the perimeter. It's one area Joe Sloan said we may not see a lot of today and how they want to attack the perimeter. We've seen Ramos earlier today. Come on, keep. And the kick is good. And the kick is good from 38. Second half procedures, two seven minute quarters, a running clock for both. Nobody's going to get risky here. Deep in their own territory. Todd was listed as ESPN's number five kicker coming out of high school. For Collins, let's we'll see if he goes back to him here. Into Jackson straight ahead into plus territory, still on his feet, and that's the power of six feet, 230 pounds. To fruition out here today. You had to quote him directly as the handoff lane, bouncing ahead should be enough for a first down. From Arlington, Texas, on third down, Markway in motion. For a minute to go in a very fast third quarter. Sidearm delivering the pass is caught that'll move the sticks still on his feet and racing ahead is Daniels CJ Daniels shows you some strength and some speed spin cycle I'm not sure if he pressed the X button or the triangle but it worked stop at the 15 is Jackson Pass time for college players that has been gone for a while but back again here this summer third quarter comes to a close on the field he is a live quarterback meaning he can be brought down with a tackle for a sack or if he escapes the pocket defense has a chance to take the lead with a stop trailing by two Hurley delivers in zone and incomplete and looking Hurley for Sampson and the defense Dusty on a drastic turn of events takes the lead for the first time at 32 27 let's go summer Hurley back on the field. Straight ahead, nowhere. Does Blake Baker get a trophy of some kind if the defense wins the spring game? The crab legs or something, and the other ones have to eat sandwiches. Problems like with that. the snap. Pimpton picks it up to the edge. The spin move, and out of bounds near the 33. On the lower body before he spun down, out of bounds. Third and two, and a short pickup to Peterson. Giovanni. See how the uh, freshman quarterback handles a little tempo. Colin Hurley delivers deep. Has a man, pass is caught. Kai Preen. And Preen reaches the end zone, the offense back in front after a 64 yard touchdown strike from Colin Hurley. Delivered by the freshman Hurley. A win on the outside, man to man coverage. And that ball could not have been placed any better. He had pressure on his face too as Relaford once again off the right side, right there. Hurley's got to get the ball out. And Corbello connects with a BAT. Big wide sweeping takeaways, but Gabriel Relaford, I think that's a name to remember. I'd say he's flashed to me as much or more than anybody. The defense with a stop in the backfield. Number 48. And the spring game nearly in the books. Hurley wants to fire one deep again. As his guy an incomplete off the fingertips of Willis. Tied at 34. Dusty DeVore, check your final thoughts here in Baton Rouge today. A great day of football.